Okay, this is grade eight, uh, the second part to surface area uh, of three-dimensional objects. So far, we've covered in our previous video how to calculate the surface area of rectangular prisms and triangular prisms, as well as cubes. And this video is simply about calculating the surface area of cylinders. So your first question, <clears throat> question number four, asks you to estimate the surface area of each cylinder, then calculate each surface area to the nearest tenth of a square centimeter. But what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to just use uh, the estimation part um, for A, and then I'll do the calculation part for B. So I'm not going to do both for both. So we look at A. If I was estimating, what we would do with estimating is if you had any measurement that was a decimal, in this case there are none, but I would still use 2 pi r squared in my formula to represent the two faces that are circles. So pi r squared being the area of a face, 2 being multiplying it by 2, plus the third face, which is pi dh. And when I substitute my information, instead of using 3.14, because I am estimating, I will just round it to 3 to make it easier for me to calculate. And the radius is 3.5, because half of the diameter is 3.5, I'm going to round it up to 4. So all we've done here is we've changed all of the decimal parts to my substitution. We've rounded it to the nearest whole number. So pi will become 3, and the radius, which is 3.5, we will round to be 4. And then when I simplify it, it's going to be much easier. It's going to be 2 times 3 times 16 plus the remainder of that. 2 times 3 is 6, and 6 times 16, well, 6 times 16 is uh, 60, and 36 is 96. I'm just going to make that an even 100. It's actually 96, but I'm going to make it an even 100. And 3 times 7 is 21, and 21 times 30, well, 20 times 30 is 600, so I'm just going to make it an even 600. I'm not going to worry about the fact that it's not 20 times 30, it's 21 times 30. And when I use those numbers, I get approximately 700 centimeters squared. Okay? Actually, what I'll do is I will calculate it for B as well. So if I was to actually calculate it, instead of using 3, I'll use 3.14. Instead of using uh, 3.5 for the radius, I'll use 3, or uh, instead of using 4, I'll use 3.5. And the rest would become the same. When I simplify the next step, I would get this, because I'd simplify 3.5 squared to get 12.25. And then when I simplify that, I would get this. And then when I add those two numbers together, I take 659.4 and add it to 76.93. And I get 736.33. 736.33 centimeters squared which is the exact, well, that's still not the exact answer because pi is technically not 3.14, it's 3.14. But it's pretty close to my estimation of 700 by just using 3 for pi and 4 for the radius. So in the second question, I'm not going to bother doing the whole estimation thing. It just takes too long. But I'd go 2 pi r squared plus pi dh is my formula. 2 times 3.14 times the dia the radius. So the radius here is given to you as being 10. It's not the diameter, but it's the radius. Plus 3.14 multiplied by the diameter, which is now 20, because if the radius is 10, the diameter is double that, times the height, which is 22. When you simplify this, you get 6.28 times 10, which is 62.8, plus... Uh, well, I can't do this with my head, so I'll try and do it over here. 3.14 multiplied by 20, multiplied by 22, equals 1,381.6. 1,381.6. Add to that 62.8, and your answer is 1,444.4 centimeter square of surface area. Your next question, question six, says use the formula, which we did last time, to calculate it. 
so I'm only going to do the second one because it would be an awful waste of time to do this two more times. So when I take B and I put my formula, 2 pi r squared plus pi dh, and I substitute all my information, 2 times 3.14, Multiply by the radius. Well, if the diameter is 5, then the radius is half of that, which is 2.5 squared, plus 3.14 multiplied by the diameter, multiplied by the height. 2 times pi times, well, 2.5 squared is 6.25, plus the rest. And when I multiply this all out, I would get this when I simplify both sides. The two circles would have an area of 39.25 and the rectangle 109.9. And when I add those together, I get a final answer of 149.15 centimeters squared for the surface area. It does say round to the nearest hundredth of a unit, which is your second decimal place. So since I already have it to the nearest hundredth, that is my answer. Question number eight says Anu wants to recover the cylindrical stool in his bedroom. Wow, what a good person to recover a cylindrical stool. I just buy a new one, but whatever. How much material does he need if there is no overlap and he does not cover the bottom of the stool? Well, for this one, the difference is if we think about what the net would look like, the bottom of the school stool would be circular and the side of the school stool would be uh, I shouldn't do this again. Hang on a second. There, that's a better net. There is no top, so there won't be any top circle. So this would be two faces that he needs to resurface. So the bottom, we would use the formula pi r squared, or 3.14. Now, since the diameter is 42, the radius is 21. 3.14 multiplied by 21 squared, which is 441. And when I multiply pi by 441, I get 1,384.74. 1,384. 1, 1,784.74 centimeters square of area, just for the bottom, the bottom of his um, stool. So 1,384.74 centimeters squared. Now the other one, this rectangle, is going to be pi dh. Now you might also see it written as 2 pi rh, and the reason why these are the same thing, or, or, excuse me, pi dh, the reason why these are the same thing is because two radiuses is the same as a diameter. So if I multiply 2 by pi by r by h, it's the same thing as multiplying a d by a pi by an h, because you can rearrange these in any way. You can go this, it's still going to be the same, or you could do this. No matter which order you multiply three terms by, it's always going to give you the same product. So our formula for that rectangle is pi dh, or 3.14 multiplied by the diameter of 42, multiplied by the height of 32. Calculate 3.14 multiplied by the diameter, multiplied by the height, and your answer is 4220.16. 4220.16 centimeters squared. Add these two together, the only two faces you have on the stool. You add that to 1384.74, and you end up with a surface area of 5604.9. 5604.9 centimeters squared as your total surface area for the stool. Question number nine is an absurd question because apparently this tube of candy is 122 centimeters long, which is well over a meter, a meter and a quarter almost. But Caitlin and Hakeem each bought a tube of candy. Both containers cost the same amount. Which container is required more plastic to make? So for this one, <clears throat> there's a top and a bottom. 2 pi r squared plus pi dh. 2 pi... The radius is 3.5, if half of 7, squared, plus 3.14 times the diameter times the height of 122. 
when you solve this, you're going to get 3.5 squared. 3.5 squared is 12.25. So the first thing I do is my exponents. Keep the rest here. And when you solve the rest of it, you'll get this. And then when you add those two numbers together, you get your final answer of 2758 decimal 49 centimeters squared for the surface area of the long tube. Now, as we can see in the second tube, what it's done is it's made a shorter tube, but you have a wider diameter. So it's a little shorter, but it's wider. So does it hold more or less candy? Using the same formula, the only difference between the two formulas is going to be the radius and the height and the diameter. So it's almost like it's a blank template the radius, if the diameter is 11, the radius would be half of that, so it's 5.5 there instead of the other one, which is 3.5. The diameter is 11 for this one, and the, the length or the height of the cylinder is 85. So if we simplify this all out, you get this here, and then when you add those two together, you get a final answer of um, 3,125.87 centimeters squared of surface area. For the second one, oopsie daisy, for the second one, oopsie daisy still, which means which one has uh, more surface area or more plastic to make the container? The second one, even though it's shorter, takes more plastic uh, by a considerable amount, almost by like 20% more roughly or so. I guess, yeah, 15% maybe. And finally, question 12 says, coins can be stored in a plastic wrapper similar to a cylinder. A roll of dimes contains 50 coins. Each dime has a diameter of 17.5 millimeters and a thickness of one millimeter. Calculate the minimum surface of the plastic wrap. So if I was to draw this, I'm going to draw my cylinder straight up here. And I'm going to kind of try my best to put dimes in there, right? So if I put dimes in there, Pretending there's 50 dimes in my cylinder, I could draw that picture and I could say, well, the diameter of a dime is 17.5. So the, the, the diameter across that cylinder will also be 17.5. And since there are 50 dimes in here, the height of this cylinder is 50 millimeters because each dime is one millimeter. 50 of them would be 50 millimeters. So that's basically the variation of our question. It's interpreting. Um, this like this. So the surface area means how much plastic would it take to wrap that? So our formula is still the same because we have two circles on the top and bottom of plastic that we'd have to cover it plus the size, which is that rectangle. Two multiplied by pi multiplied by the radius. And since 17.5 is the diameter, half of 17.5, which is 8.75 squared plus pi times the diameter times the height. So when we look at this last one and I simplify all the parts, the first thing is the, the first one is going to be the exponent. So 8.75 squared. 8.75 does not mean times 2. It means times itself. So 8.7 squared, holy macaroni and cheese, 76 0.5625, and then the rest stays the same. So when I multiply the first three numbers together, I get 2 times 3.14 times 76.5625. That gives me 480.8125 plus the other part, which will be 3.14 times 17.5 times the height of the cylinder, which is 50. It's 2,747, 2,747.5. And when you add those two together, add that to the 480.8125, you get a final answer. The surface area of that plastic vesicle that will hold the 50 dimes. It's approximately, I'm going to round this, approximately 
cubic set or set square centimeters of plastic required to wrap those dimes.